Today I'm going to be reviewing and demonstrating the Spectre Fix Fixative for pastels. Now I use this for my charcoal pieces, but I want to also demonstrate it on a pastel piece. Now it says this is good for soft pastels, oil pastels, chalk, Conte, which is another type of pastel, colored pencils, graphite, and you can use it on paper, upo, canvas, ceramic, fabric, glass, leather, wood, and stone. Now, this isn't my favorite for oil pastels. I did a review on another fixative, the uh, Sennelier fixative for oil pastels, so I'll go ahead and link that down below, but I do really like this one for charcoal and pastels. So, this is an old artwork that I did a few years ago, so I figure I'm going to go ahead and test this this on this. I did this with pan pastels and colored pencils. So we're going to go ahead and test this one. Now I don't use the Spectra Fixative in this bottle. And the reason why is because when you spray it, it sort of puts out heavy droplets and those heavy droplets can ruin your work because it's a lot of water just in one area or a lot of fixative just in one area and that can sort of like move the pastel around just a little bit. So I always suggest getting a spray bottle and putting it in a spray bottle like this and this is some of the fixative down here in this spray bottle so I'll go ahead and link a bottle like this down below. They're pretty inexpensive. I think you could even find similar bottles like this at local like salon stores. But what I typically do is just shake it up. And then I'm just gonna go back and forth and do a fine mist. Now I like having something on the back of it so I'm not just spraying it on my desk. Now this is non-toxic and it's odor free. So this one I will spray inside in my studio. The other one I would not. So the other one I was talking about, the Sennelier for oil pastels, that has a very strong smell to it. Definitely spray that outside. But this one is safe for indoor spray. So I'm just gonna go ahead and demonstrate it real quick. So I'm gonna stand back a little bit just do a fine mist and I just like to go back and forth like this and I like to bring the mist out over my piece a little bit on either side so I'll start a little above and I'll kind of go across like this and I'm just constantly just tapping this because it will put out a fine mist but you've got to be spraying it but I just constantly tap it like this just to get the lightest amount out and I'll just do one layer now we'll go ahead and just do a quick test before so as you can see, the pastel is lifting. Now this is more colored pencil in these areas here, um, but definitely in the background where I've got just pan pastels, it's still lifting quite a bit. So we'll go ahead and give it a good spray. And I'll also show you a before and after just so you can see if any of the colors changed. Now this is one of the spray fixatives that I noticed it will not change colors, but it will tone down your brights a little bit, but you can always just go back in and add your whites again at the end, just a little bit. There, so that's just one layer. Now it will initially darken things up a little bit because you did wet the paper a tiny bit. Now I just have four pieces of tape on the back of this, just on the corners, because I'm gonna be moving this off my desk to do other things while it dries. So I don't want the paper to shift around too much. Um, but I do typically will put little pieces of tape on my corners when I'm going outside to spray things. But I wanna see you know, how the paper's gonna buckle using this product as well. So that's just one layer and I will come back when this is dry. And I would give it a good half hour to let this dry completely. Okay so this is what it looks like once it's completely dried and as you can see the edges did curl up a little bit so keep that in mind it will warp your paper a little bit so you might want to make sure you tape it down like I said I have tape on the back of it here which is probably why it curled up this way versus the other way but this is what it looks like once it's sprayed so I'll go ahead and put a before and after picture here just so that we can really compare the before and after, but let's test it out. And there is absolutely nothing coming off onto my fingers right now. And I'm just gonna go over this little guy. Now I did a base layer on the pastels for the um, giraffe here and I went over with colored pencils. I believe I used the polychromos for this, but as you can see, it has completely set 
everything in. Now I've got a little stain here because I was testing out my oil pastels, but like nothing is coming off at all. So just one light layer. Now this is the Canton Metiens paper. So I didn't have a lot of pastel on this, but once you've sprayed it, you can always go up and build up more pastel. But this is sort of just to show you what the Spectrafix fixative can do, how it can, you know, set the pastel into your paper. Now you could spray this layer up and then spray it again, layer up, but the more pastel that you have on the paper, the more layers you'll have to do of this to get it to fix down. So if you're using pastel mat and you've got quite a few layers down, you really don't have to use a fixative if you're using pastel mat because the pastel mat sort of grips on to the pastel anyway. But if you have lots and lots of layers and the tooth is completely full on the pastel mat, then if you add anything on top of that, it could sort of come off over time because you've completely filled up the tooth of the paper. So you could go ahead and use this at that point and it'll do the same thing here. You might just have to do a couple more layers depending how much pastel you have down on the paper but I highly recommend this product. Sometimes it will bring down your like lightest light, but because this has fixed it, you can always go back in and add those lightest details back in. And this adds a little bit of tooth back to the paper so you can layer as well. So I'm really enjoying this product. Now to get rid of this little bit of curl, since we did go ahead and set the pastel into the paper, what you could use is a piece of glassine or some tracing paper or something over top of this and then put a couple of heavy books just to sort of flatten that paper back out and then your artwork should be good to go. I hope you guys enjoyed this demonstration. If you did, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when I post my videos. And thank you so much for watching and as always, I will see you in the next one. Bye!